Welcome to part one, where we're going to be making a dune sandworm in Blender 4.0. So this one that you're looking at here is my original project that I did a few months ago. And we're going to be rigging it as well. We're not just going to be modeling a sandworm. We're also going to be texturing and rigging it. Um, the only thing we're not going to be doing is creating this environment and doing the animation because that's something you can do yourself. You can use this how you want to use it. But we will be making a sandworm and we will be texturing. Um, adding a material and rigging it and it's just a ton of fun to play with now my rig here is going to look a bit different than yours just in the sense that i've added custom controllers but we're going to be making the exact same rig anyway so it's not going to be anything different it's just going to look a bit different um, and this is going to be part one like i said where we do the modeling part two we'll do the rigging which needs to be its own dedicated video because it's uh, a bit more involved and then we'll be doing the last and third video where we finish off the worm with some lighting and materials so if you want to invest your time in learning how to make a sandworm from Dune, go ahead. And I know there's a lot of different interpretations on the worms, but this is kind of more based on the movies, I think, um, of recent times. So um, as always, I also will be uploading my blend files to Patreon. All of that's in the description. So without wasting any more time, let's make our sandworms. So jumping into a new scene in Blender, we're gonna select all of the default objects and press delete. We're then gonna go shift A and let's go to our mesh options, add in a cylinder. And let's go into our front orthographic view. And with this active, we're gonna tap into edit mode. And you can see here, everything is active. We're gonna go R, Y, nine, zero and hit enter. So now it's rotated 90 degrees on the Y. And we wanna go over to our modifiers. We wanna go add modifier and click here on search and type in A, R. Let's go with the array modifier. And uh, let's just leave it as default settings. So we're gonna go into wireframe quickly. We're gonna select this middle face and press X and delete that face. And then we're gonna go ahead and select this face at the front, press X and delete that face. So now what we can do here is model just this one segment here and have it array along the X axis. In fact, we're gonna come here to the count and make it a value of 10. So we have 10 of these segments to the worm body. So going to our front orthographic view, we're gonna come in here and go Control R and you're gonna see a yellow line appear. That's your loop cut. And if you roll your middle mouse button once and then twice, you're gonna have three segments added in like so. And once you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and double click and it's added in. Now let's go to our edge select option. Make sure to press A twice just to deselect everything. And now we're gonna come here in the front See this first segment here? We're gonna go Control R or Command R to add in another loop. Just left click once and then just slide it up close to the edge and then go S to scale it a bit. Then we're gonna come over here, Control R, left click and just slide S to scale it a bit and then come up and do the same here. Control R, left click, slide, left click again, S to scale a little bit. And then we're gonna come in here, Control R, left click twice to add in a loop and then go S and scale it a little bit. And that's towards the end over here. So now we have our segments. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna tap out and we're now in object mode. We're gonna come here to our ray modifier and go ahead and apply. And now our cylinder of our worm body here is unfortunately a little bit too consistent along the length. So we're gonna tab into edit mode and we're gonna go ahead, shift alt with our edge select option and select this edge running in the back. So in our front view, it's over here. And we're gonna go ahead and enable proportional editing. And now if you press S, Shift, and X, so S, Shift, and X, it's gonna scale along the Z and the Y axis. And you can roll your middle mouse button with proportional editing to increase the fall off. And we're gonna go with something like this for now. And then in our front view, let's just go S again. And this time we're just pressing S and we're just gonna scale this guy down, rolling our middle mouse button down like so. And now we're gonna go E to extrude, S to scale, G, X, just move it out a little bit. E to extrude, S to scale, and let's just press F to fill that face. So now we have a tail end to our worm. And let's come over here at the front. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off proportional editing. And we're just gonna select this edge over here. In our front view, we're just gonna go E to extrude X, scale it a little bit. And then we're gonna go E to extrude S to scale, like so. About this much. 
And then we're going to go E to extrude and X. And we're going to extrude in about this much and then go S to scale, like so. And then we're going to go E to extrude and X. Go in a little bit more and then go S to scale. And this is going to be the inside of the worm's mouth, as you can see here. Something like that. And then we're going to go E to extrude and X. Go in a little bit. And then we're going to go in to wireframe. And now we can go E to extrude as to scale and inside. G, X, move it in a bit. And then E to extrude and X. Scale it a little bit by pressing S. And then press F to fill in that face. And then just press I to insert that face like so. So now we have a little inside cavity like that. So now what we can do, we can go to our modifier. So add modifier, search, and let's get a sub. Let's get a subdivision surface modifier, like so. And in our front view, we're also going to come over here, control R to add in a loop here at the front. Let's just double click and then go S to scale that a little bit, like so. Control R over here, click once and then move it up, S to scale it a bit. And we're just going to give the front a little bit more definition, as you can see here. So back in object mode, let's just right click and go shade smooth. And now we have our worm body. So there are a few things we could do to make this look even better. But one thing I can notice here is that these body segments aren't really fused. So if we go into here, we just select an edge, we go control L, we can see it's not fused together. So let's just quickly go into object mode and with our modifier. So let's just click here, search and type in weld. Let's get a weld modifier. And let's just place it above the subdiv. And now we should see um, that these segments here change when we enable that. So now we can just come to the drop down and apply it. Now if we tab back in here and we select a piece, we go control L, we can see everything is one consistent mesh. So in edit mode, I'm just going to come in here, control R, left click, just slide in an extra edge in here. That's optional, but I think it just makes it look a little bit cleaner like that. So let's go back into object mode. Let's just make sure our subdivision is enabled for the viewport. And this is what our worm's looking like. And it's a little bit too consistent for my liking. So let's just go to the modifiers, click add modifier, search, and let's just quickly get a displace by typing in displace. Let's just click new over here and then go to our texture properties. And let's just come here to the type and make it clouds. And then going back to our modifiers, let's just bring that strength way down like so, and now we have a little bit more roughness to our worm. Okay, that's looking really cool. You can add all the extra details and layers that you want to make some of these plates a little bit more noticeable. A simple way to do that is just to go Control R and add in a loop every now and then where you want to kind of emphasize that there is a kind of like a plate. Um, but I want my detail more to be up where the head is. So I'm going to kind of leave it there. But you guys can, you know, spend as much time as you want with that. I think this is the main worm. So now let's make the teeth. So let's do that by going Shift A. Let's just add in a circle. We're going to tab into edit mode and go to our vertex select option. And we're going to go R, Y, 9, 0 and hit enter. So if you're going to wireframe, this is what we can see. And in our front view, let's just actually tab back out quickly into object mode, select our worm and go G, X and just move it back. And then let's grab our circle again that we added in. And with the circle here, we're going to go and scale it down a bit and G, X, move it forward. Then we're going to go E to extrude and X, scale it down a bit. And we just want this to kind of sit just in the inside of the mouth here, like so. And then we're going to go E to extrude, S to scale, G, X, move it back. Just something like this. And maybe let's just go in here, control R, left click twice, S to scale. And we just have kind of like this round plate that just sits inside the mouth, just behind the mouth here, like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our mesh edit mode and enable the normals. And we wanna make sure that these normals are all facing inwards like they are at the moment, which is correct. Let's tab back out. And for now, I'm just gonna select the cylinder here, double click and call it worm. Double click in a circle and let's call it teeth. And let's just hide the worm for now. And with the teeth active, we're going to right click and go shade smooth. Now we're going to go to our particles. We're going to click on plus and create hair. 
Let's come here to the hair length for now, just bring it down a bit. And now we're gonna make a tooth object. So let's go Shift A. Let's add in a circle. Let's go to our add circle options here. Let's make it five. Bring this down and now let's tab into edit mode and with all of this active, we're gonna go E to extrude and Z. And let's make it probably about this tall. And let's go S to scale it, make it nice and pointy. Then we're gonna go Control R, add a loop in the middle like so. And let's go into our right orthographic view by pressing free on our number pad. So we're in the right orthographic. And let's grab in wireframe these verts over here. Let's go R to rotate them like so. Move them in a bit and then let's just select this loop of verts over here and go Control B to create a bevel. Then roll the middle mouse button tw two times to add in some more segments. And now we have a tooth. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tab back out. We're gonna go S to scale it in object mode about this big. And then we're gonna go R and we're gonna rotate it. We're still on the right orthographic. We're gonna rotate it about this much. Then go Control A and apply the rotation like so. So now if we select our mouth here and we go to our particles, we can go over to the viewport, I think the render, and then let's go to the render as Let's make an object and then come to the instances object, click on this eyedropper and then select that tooth. And now what we have to do is just come here to the hair length and let's just adjust it till it's the right length. So we have something that looks like this. And I'm gonna grab this um, tooth here, just move it up, right click and go shade smooth. And if this tooth is looking too um, sticking out in the wrong way, you can just go into edit mode. And let's just grab this end here and just extrude it further past the origin point. So now it's embedded in here a little bit better like that. And you can always, you know, scale it along the Y, Control A, apply to scale. So now we have these nice looking teeth. So now let's just go to our worm and bring it back. And now you can see we have these nice teeth. And this thing here, you can rotate on the X and then just apply the rotation if you want to change it a little bit. But I think what we've got here works really well. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select a worm. Just go to face select and go shift alt left click on this section here to loop select the faces. And just go E to extrude it forward a bit and then S just to scale it, just to make a little bit more of a lip around the mouth like that. And then let's grab our tooth here. Let's just go M, create a new collection and call it tooth. And just go okay. And let's just go ahead and turn that off for the render and the display. So now all we see is our teeth and our worm. So that has been part one. In part two, we're gonna do our rigging so we can control and animate our worm if we wanted to. So make sure to check that out. And as always, I'll be uploading my final result to my Patreon so you guys can access the blend file that way as well if you wanna check that in the description.